What's up, everybody? Welcome. Hello. Today is July 15th, 2020. Welcome. I'm Herm, and welcome to Art Class with Herm. So if this is your first time here, let me introduce myself. I'm an artist and illustrator based here in Brooklyn, and I love baseball and I love to draw it. So in order for us all to get together and have a good mindset in our lives, you know, we had this little quarantine art club that we kind of whipped up here. So every episode that we do, we're going to be drawing a baseball themed drawing, most likely involving the Mets because that is my favorite team and probably yours too, you know, so you should know your audience, kids. So if you're watching this on a day that is not July 15th, if it's like 30-30, something like that, and the internet is in our eyeballs all the time, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So that way we've got everything covered. This is our 26th episode, which is pretty amazing. So not to worry if you are a completist like me, you can simply scroll back on whatever you're watching it right now, YouTube, Instagram, social media and you'll see all the other episodes on there and you can check those out too which is cool uh and like i said you could also go to artclassswithherm.com and you'll see a nice playlist of all the episodes too so it'd be nice on your tv or something which is cool so like i said this is our 26th episode so just a little announcement we're going to be ending our classes for a bit at the end of july because baseball's coming back and we'll have some other things to watch and things so that shouldn't stop your drawing it's so much fun but just wanted to give you a heads up on that so two more classes i believe and uh, we'll have a real good time throughout the rest of our classes there cool all right, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about what we did last week. So last week we drew the Shea Parachute Jumper, which was awesome. So that was a lot of fun for me, and it looked like you guys enjoyed it too. So thanks to everyone that came in and drew that. Uh, like we always do, we like to give a $10 gift card to three artists that we thought did a really awesome job. So big shout-outs to Nicholas, to Lance, and Gwen. So thanks for drawing. And... Those people, too, they caught up on some of our drawings, too. So that's what's cool. You see a couple of baseball hats, that home and apple hats and the train and such. So thanks for drawing, guys. It was awesome. And I will send those gift cards to you shortly. Awesome. Cool. So let's talk about the things that we're going to be needing for our drawing today. So our rule, no rules, really. But uh, I like to say we're going to have some crayons today. I'm going to be using crayons. You can see they're really small. I'm too cheap to buy more. Uh, so crayons, I got my brush pen. You could use a pen or you could use a paintbrush or a pencil, whatever you want. It's up to you. Uh, but then I'm going to be using just the standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Nothing fancy. I just took it right out of my printer for that too. Uh, and then also a big shout outs to our sponsor for today. <clears throat> Sail Away Coffee. Ooh, look how delicious. Can you see how delicious it is? I can, baby, look at that. There we go. All right, so thanks, big ups to Sail Away Coffee for once again sponsoring our episode. It's a supply that I have while I'm drinking, keeps me awake. I love coffee, it's so good. So Sail Away Nitro Brew Cold Coffee. It's infused with nitrogen, which gives an incredibly creamy texture, organic, dairy and gluten free. And you can check all of their stuff at sailawaycoffee.com. And as wonderful as they are, they also hooked us up with a discount code. So if you type in HERM20, H-E-R-M-2-0, you get 20% off of your order, which is unbelievable. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I wanted to give them a shout out. Thank you again, guys, for sponsoring our, our class. And thank you for the delicious coffee. And if you're getting any of it, let us know. Maybe I should try some different flavors. I've been drinking the unsweetened one because I like it like that. But awesome. Cool. Well, thanks. I, I love these long intros, don't you guys? We get to know each other more, get to feel our, our energies and such. But let's get down to the reason that we're here. We're here to draw, right? Cool. So what are we drawing today? I'm glad you asked. Today we are going to draw, I have it right here, a big Mike Piazza baseball card. That's pretty cool, right? So eight and a half by 11 kind of sheet on there. So it might be a little too big for my computer screen, so I'm going to kind of pop it back up and down but yeah so we're going to be drawing a baseball card which is cool so one of my favorite things with this is i picked i believe it's the 1987 tops so we're going to have like this wood kind of uh, border around it and we'll draw mike piazza in there and stuff so that's pretty cool uh fun thing i sent darren earlier a picture of me and mike piazza that oh man 2006 i believe it was i worked i worked at the apple store back in the day and Mike Piazza came in, uh, and I was telling the story earlier, but what's really funny about it is 
this you have to imagine 2006 is before the iPhone, right, kids? So there's no even cameras on a phone were kind of fancy. So anyway, so he came through and I was really embarrassed. I didn't want to talk to him, but all my colleagues like, you got to gotta meet him. You got to meet him. So my friend David took tried to take a picture of us with the new fancy camera phone and he couldn't figure it out. And I remember Mike Piazza was like, is this going to take all day? And I was like, uh. <laughs> I froze up. That's why I look incredibly awkward in that photo. Please disregard the sideways hat, the baby face and that freshman 15 on me. But anyway, so. That's my story. Great, right? You guys are awesome. Cool. All right, so let's get to drawing. So like I said, this is going to be our drawing right here. We got our Mike Piazza baseball card. So we get to be really custom in this. You can, I heard someone say they're gonna paint this jersey black, which I should have done. What a, what a rookie mistake for me. And you can paint the background and different borders. Like I said, this is one of my favorite borders, the 87. I think that's like a classic one for everybody, but great. All right, so let me pop this aside for now. Let's get a sheet of paper. Like I said, so I've got my sheet of paper right here, my big eight and a half by 11 sheet. I'm going to have mine standing upwards, so vertically. So, you know, my thinner end is gonna be at the bottom. So it might be kind of hard to see it in my drawing, but I'll make sure that I move it up and down for everybody. So don't worry about that. So again, this is what I'm going to be basing my drawing off of today. So we're gonna have like our Mike Piazza here. Here he is up here, we'll have a logo and then kind of build out the border on there. So don't worry if this looks a little intimidating. We're not sure you can draw this. You can totally do it. And I'm gonna draw it with you and we'll walk step by step through it. Cool. All right, let's do it. So the first thing we're actually going to draw on here is we're going to lay out our drawing a bit. So we usually say that in our drawings, and you and if you've been around the last couple of classes, you've seen me mess up. So <laughs> this will be a little easier because we're gonna have like a like a legit border, which is nice. So like so we're gonna have that wood paneling that's gonna come like down and around and such right here. Sound good? All right, so let's let's grab our drawing, our pencil or pen, however we're gonna do it. And I'm gonna come up here to the top left corner of my drawing up here, and I'm gonna draw a circle right about here. So again, apologies, my freckly hands in the way. I'm going to come right here and I'm just going to draw a circle. So my circle that I have right there, that's going to be our Mets logo. So again, you can see it's like in the top kind of corner right here. So while we're there, let's write, let's draw Mets, right? So, uh, so we're going to use like that logo that we all know so well, right? So I'm just going to write Mets in there. A little, you know, my little um, bubble letters and cursive there. So there's our Mets logo. So it says Mets. And then what else is there? So there's a bridge, right? So there's that bridge on the bottom. And then, so usually I just draw a line and I, I'll draw like one big pillar here and one here. That's gonna be like the top part. And then I'll just kind of connect them with these curved lines like that. That's how we get the, that Mets bridge there. And then they got a couple of these other little lines down for those little suspensions on there. And don't worry, this is going to be such a small part of the drawing. So that's why we're going to draw really quick and fast. And like I said, I love a nice heavenly glow over my Mets there. These little lines that you put there, I really think that they add to your drawing a bit. And then, of course, there's the cityscape, right? So you can base it off buildings if you want. But me, I just kind of see how I'm just making these lines really quick up and down, down and around, that sort of thing. This way you can just get, you can see what it is. So somebody will look at that and be like, oh my goodness, that's the Mets logo. Cool. All right, so now that we got our Mets logo in there, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna have like a, a diagonal line. Let me show you what I mean. So first I'm gonna have one line that comes like this and then another line like this. So you see, it's like I almost put like a, like I stabbed it with a toothpick or something. So that's gonna be that. So make sure that it like goes behind. So the line right there, stop, move down and put another line there. Great. So now I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna draw a line right across the top and stop right about here. Let me show you what I mean. So again, apologies for my freckly hand. We're gonna go here. Whoa. Yeah, look at that. Awesome, right? So again, don't worry if it's not perfectly straight. <laughs> it's nice to have a little energy in your line, right? Cool, so now that we have that there, I'm gonna come over to the left. You guys see that, right? So see that little that line we start? I'm gonna come down, 
There we go. Look at that. So I'm going to stop like right here. So nothing too crazy, like just before the bottom. So like about two inches or something. And let's do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to come up here and we're going to draw another line. Yeah. All right. You can see I was running out of sound effects on that last one there. So we have that line right there. So cool. So this is what our drawing looks like right now. Can you guys see that? So we have our Mets logo and there's that like diagonal line through it, that toothpick. And there's our line. We made our border on there. <laughs> see it? I, this is fun. See the see how like kind of scratchy that line is right there. This is why I really like these brush pens. It looks a little looks handmade, you know. It makes that's a nice happy mistake we like to say, but it looks really cool, right? Okay, so we're almost done with our border right here. So what we're gonna do now? Okay, cool. So now we're gonna draw like a a rectangle right here, and that's gonna be our like nameplate. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let's forget about that. Let's fix that in editing. All right. So let's draw a rectangle right here. So I'm going to draw right about here. It's going to draw a big rectangle. So a line there. Come across. I'm just going to connect it to this line right here. And then I'm going to come down and just connect it. Just like this. You guys see that OK? So as you can see here. We got our logo and our border, and then our rectangle right here. I know this is super exciting to draw. We'll get to Mike Piazza in a second. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna connect this shape right there. All right, so this is your baseball card border. Kind of cool, right? So let's stick. Let's stay away from the border for right now. We'll come back at the end and draw, but let's start to add in our Mike Piazza, right? So. There's lots of ways you can do this, but I'm going to break it down. We're going to do like, we're going to start at the head and then work our way down and then add our bat towards the end. Sound good? All right. So basically, let's show you. So this is our final drawing that we're, we're looking to base it off of. So as you can see, the baseball bat like goes all the way up into the corner. So this is where, so Mike Katz is going to kind of be in the middle, but to the right just a little bit where his elbow is going to be touching the border. So I go ahead to show you that because that's how we kind of want to lay it out. So here's going to be our head, like right about here, our body and our elbow and the bat, right? So let's go ahead and let's draw that baseball hat or that batting hat rather. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to draw this kind of a U shape. So this is the part that goes like right over the ear, right? So just that U. And now I'm going to come over here on the left and let's draw a straight line like this. Maybe a little longer. Something like that. So it almost looks like, uh, oh my gosh, I don't know, like the Big Dipper. You guys learned that and the stars. That's kind of fun. Maybe a spoon or something. <laughs> there you go. Let me know in the comments what you think it looks like. I don't know. That one's hard. I'm trying to make it look like food or something. All right. So we got that there. So this is going to, so this is on the ear. And this is all over the visor, right over his eyes. So we're going to come up here, and I'm just going to make it look almost like a triangle in a way, just like that, right? So we had like that visor over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up. But see how I made it come out a little bit? I'm going to come up a little bit and start here. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of that here. What I'm trying to say is I'm not going to start here and draw it over. I'm coming in a little bit to give a little bit more of detail to the drawing. But anyway, I'm going to come up like this and I'm going to make this like curve shape. Just like this. So it looks really weird right now, right? <laughs> so again, and then on the back, I'm going to come up and we're going to like connect it like this. So I made that like wavy line, right? We've we know this line, right? We've done this a bunch of times. Cool. So now in the middle here of the ear, I'm going to draw like a circle. I like a circle. I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm going to, let's kind of fill it in a bit, right? Not perfect. I'm just going to fill it in just a little bit like that. So if you guys wear like, any of you guys play baseball, you know, when you they put like that batting helmet on and there's like that, that part that covers your ear, that's what this is right here. That way it keeps it nice on. Great. So that's our top. That's Mike Piazza's head, right? So let's come in the back and let's give him some hair. So my hair is going to come like right about here. And to make hair, I'm just going to kind of make these like, short lines, short and quick, right? So just like, psh, 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 just like that. So if you take your pen or pencil and you just kind of like, you know, throw it on the paper real quick, just like this. 
you're going to get some hair running out of ink there. And you can just like kind of, you know, draw on top of it. So don't worry if you put it in, you're like, oh, I wish I put more hair there. Go ahead, throw it in. And if you kind of like style it like down to the right a little bit, see how it gets that really cool flow? Yeah, that's how you got that. Look at that hair. This is, this is post mullet, Mike Piazza. So we're giving him that little bit of a stylized hairdo right there. Great. Okay, so, so look at it now. So we got our border, our hat, and our hair here. Let's go in here and let's start to make his face a bit, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come like right about here and I'm going to make this like little curved line just like that. Can you guys see that right there? That's kind of his forehead. So we're going to have like that. Now let's go and let's draw his nose, right? So his nose, I'm going to come down like this, kind of like this point, and I'm going to curl up a little bit. See that little curl? And then back here, I'm going to make his, like his nostril, right? That's the part he breathes out of. I can see I, I should have maybe made mine a little farther out, but that's all right. We're having fun. <laughs> so there's our nose. Let me fix it a little bit. There we go. So we have that there now. So let's, I'm going to give him a little mustache, right? So just like we did with the hair here, same thing with the lip. I'm just going to go. Look at that. A couple of little, there's a little mustache right there. <laughs> I love drawing the hair. It's so fun. So there's the, there's the mustache, right? It's right above his lip. Now I'm going to come here and I'm just going to make this kind of like a line that comes curves in a little bit. You guys see that little curve in there? Stash out a little bit more. And then here, we're going to make his bottom lip, but his bottom lip's going to come out a little bit more. So it's not going to be the same size. It's going to like stick up. You know, he's like doing like this kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here and I'm going to come out and in like this. <laughs> see that? He's intense. He's thinking about that pitch. There we go. Lift. And now I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this, our chin. Just like this. There we go. <laughs> so fun, right? Let's add a little bit more, right? So we have our mustache here. He comes down. He doesn't, in this photo, he doesn't have, or this drawing, we're not going to have him with like a, I'm not going to draw him with a goatee, but he has like this like longer mustache. So here's that, like, this is like the, um, I don't know, that old school mustache here, but I'm just going to come down a little bit. Again, just those quick short lines. And let's just make it a little bit longer there. I guess you would call that a, like a handlebar mustache or something, the way that kind of hangs down. So just like that there. So you can see we got our hat and our face and our hair there. Let's draw his eye. So this is like a really, this is a good trick if you ever wanted to draw somebody's eye really quick. You can come in right here and you just draw like a sideways letter V. See that there? So this is, imagine this is the top of the eye, this is the bottom. And then we'll come in here and we'll add like a little curve and we'll kind of fill that in a little bit. But leave a little white space. Maybe another line at the bottom there. <laughs> this is not my best drawing, I apologize. But <laughs> we're having a good time. Let's give a little eyebrow there. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I cannot wait to see everybody's drawings. This is gonna be awesome. Hmm. Here we go, sorry. Needed some delicious cold brew Sailaway coffee. Infused with nitrogen, everybody. All right, so there we go. So now we have our Mike Piazza head. You know what this kind of looks like? I don't know if you guys have ever seen Rookie of the Year where the kid like breaks his arm and it sets back and his arm's like, he's like the most amazing pitcher all of a sudden. And there's like that guy at the end it might be a Met player, is it? I have not seen that movie in quite some time. But there's like that guy, and he's like that brooding kind of character. It kind of looks like his face right now. So, so check out that movie out later. I'll definitely be watching that. All right, so here we go. So there's our Mike Piazza head. Let's go in and let's add his body in here, his, his jersey, right? So I'm going to come up here where the hat, where the, excuse me, where his hair is. And I'm going to make kind of this like curved line. So let's start down here. Up and come like that. He looks big and this look this is this is Mike Piazza weightlifting. So he goes down and we'll come up. 
So that's like, this is the neckline of the jersey. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this like two little curved lines. Like this right under it. This is like the, that little detail of the jersey. So this is where if, if you want to draw a certain jersey, this is where you might be a little different than mine. But I'm going to draw that white jersey. And this works for the black jersey too. There's like that like trim, that little ribbon up at the top. So now that we have that there, let's come over here on the left. And I'm going to continue down like this. And I'm going to draw to a line like just like right here. So this is like his shoulder. Oops, so that's like a shoulder. So I'm going to come in a little bit. I'm going to draw like the inside of his body a bit. So I'm going to draw this kind of a line right here. So this is like where his arm is, like his armpit a bit. And we'll come down and I'm going to make my lines a little wavy. So it looks like the jersey is flowing a bit. So I'll have it. Oh, look at that little wavy line here. And I'll come in here, another wavy line, just like that. So you can see, you just kind of make these like wavy lines. So this is like, like the part, like the side of your chest, right? Like from your armpit down, this is your, your chest, your body. And let's continue with that sleeve. So I'm gonna come up over here and I'll come down. And maybe, maybe, you know, right about here sounds good, right? And we'll have this like curved line at the bottom. <laughs> there we go, so look at that. It's almost like a bell, right? So that's our sleeve. And then just like I did here, that little trim, that little ribbon shape, I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I'll kind of have it here that down at the sleeve. Pop it right there. And then like right there. Excellent. How you guys doing? Doing good? All right, cool. All right, so we're almost done with our drawing actually. Just a couple little things we're gonna add. So right here, let's give him a little arm. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm not going to connect it right at the end of the sleeve. I'm going to come in a little bit, maybe right about here, you know, and then make this like kind of curved line. There we go. So you see that right there? So this is like his arm. Okay. So we're going to write the Piazza in 31 in just a second, but let's go in and let's, let's fill out the rest of that body. All right. So right here, I'm going to come down. I'm going to kind of just like kind of bit of a curve like that. So like kind of down and in. Break it down, and again, just a little more curved line. So I'm going to come down like that, a little wavy line, another wavy line like this. So you can see, see how it looks like the jersey has a little bit of life to it. And then right here, I'm going to add his his other sleeve. So I'm going to kind of draw this shape again, or like a sideways U. So I'm going to draw this right here, come across like that. So this is my sleeve, just like that. And then I'm going to add that trimming again to that little ribbon. We'll pop that right there. All right. So this is up to you. So I like my, my Mike Piazza is a little bit bigger than the, the border, but I'm going to keep drawing a little bit. So you won't really notice this when we color it in. So I'm going to draw a little bit of an arm, but his arm is folded. So this is kind of cool, right? So you're going to have like this. So if you guys look at your arm, there's like when you hold your elbow, there's like that muscle at the top right here. So that's what we're gonna draw. So there's your elbow and there's like that bump at the top, at the top of your arm. Let's go ahead and let's draw that. So let me show you. So we're gonna come at the top right here and I'm gonna draw this kind of like a bump that comes like that. You can see that, right? Like over the drawing a bit. Let me show you. So there's like that little bump. And then I'm gonna continue. So I'll come down a little bit and then we're gonna make like this kind of shape. So it's almost like, like a really weird number three in a way, you guys see that there? So there's like, sorry for that border there, but you could see it. So like there's up like that, and we kind of make this line and, and go around like that. So this looks like his arm is folded a bit because that is what's holding the baseball bat. All right, speaking of baseball bats, let's go ahead and let's add that. So we're gonna have his, I'm gonna have his hand like right here, but I'm gonna skip that for right now. And we're gonna draw a baseball bat. So what I'll start is I'll have this like kind of a curved bottom. And remember, a baseball bat is thin, thin towards the bottom and gets bigger towards the top. So my curve, I'm gonna have thin, and they kind of build up a little bit, like that. You see that, like thin, and it gets up like that. There we go. That's easy to see, right? Let's do the same thing again. So I'm gonna come down again, so thin, and then I'll build it up a bit like this too. So now we have that shape. I'm just gonna connect it at the top with a curved line. And then, so now that we have that shape here, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna have a line that comes in like this. So just a little quick. So the reason I do that 
is it makes it look like the the bat is more round at the top, right? All right, so there we go. So let's start to draw his hand. So hands, this is gonna be pretty easy. So I'm gonna have it right here. So when I say easy, it's gonna be really simple looking. <laughs> we'll have this here, and I'm gonna draw like this kind of a curved line like this. You see that there? A little, yeah, little curve. We'll come across right here. And I'm just gonna kind of build this other curved line like this right here. So it's almost like a like a like a little pig's tail, right? Like a little curly right here it comes across like that. And then right here, I'll draw another little bit curved line there. So this is like his hand, kind of like the inside of the hand, right? That little muscle right there. Let's draw another little bump here. So this is another little part of the hand. And then a thumb. Let's have this little kind of come up a little bit. <laughs> All right, I mean, it's not the greatest hand in the world, but you know, it's something. We get what we're doing. Great. All right. So right now, I guess this could be generic anybody baseball player, right? So what we're going to do now is let's make it, let's put no doubt in anyone's mind who this is. So let's go, we're going to go ahead here. And we're going to draw in our number 31 and our piazza on the back. So I'm just going to put a, a bubble letter number three in the back here. So you guys can jump ahead of me on this. So if you see, when you look at the jerseys, they always have these like, like, uh, like boxy kind of letters. So what that means is like it goes up, and it curves, it comes in like this. You see, it's almost like you can stop and continue with your line. So that's our three. And our number one right here. There we go like that. And then again, a little heavenly glow. I'll do some on the inside. So how's your guys' drawings looking? Pretty awesome, right? <laughs> so this is kind of fun. It was really fun that we got to draw Mike Piazza, throw him in our class. So we had that there. So then let's do the piazza. So the piazza part, it comes up, it's like a curve, right? Almost like a rainbow on here. So piazza is P, so there's our P there. It's I, and then our A. We're gonna have two Zs, so here's one. There's our Z, and then an A at the end. Piazza, there we go. So now people are like, oh, Mike Piazza, I get it. There it is. Cool. So again, a little heavenly glow there, a little outline. This will be much more fun to color in just a second. I can't wait to see what kind of jerseys you guys draw on here. Black jersey, you can definitely do that on there. I think that'll look really cool. Pop that there. All right, so I'm just having this little heavenly glow there to make it look nice. Cool. So at the bottom here, you, a baseball card usually has the person's name, right? So you know who it is. So I'm going to write Mike Piazza here. So, so I'm just going to draw these like bubble letters. So you can make yours kind of look however you want. You make mine look really fast. So Mike is M-I-K-E. Little bubble letters. And then Piazza. So then that same spelling. I'm just going to draw that down here. So P-I-A. Z-Z-A. There you go, Mike Piazza. And then usually in those like 87 tops cards, there's like right here, it's just like tops, you know? So let's make it cool. So you can make it whatever. You can write your name here later if you want and stuff. I'm just going to write, I'll write art class with Herm here. Sorry, I'm going to try to write it. So like art class with Herm. That way we know where we, we all drew together today, right? Art class. And a little, little width. I always like to draw the width really, like a little smaller, a little line under it. Wow. Herm, there we go. Exclamation point, because we're so excited. Great. Let's, let's take a look at that. Not bad, right? All right. So I'm going to color this in now. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that border. So if you guys want to follow along, again, I'm just going to take this like a brown. I'm just going to color it in lightly. I may make this a little sideways for us, make it a little easier. So this is where you can get, everybody can draw a little different or color a little different if they want. But if you want to follow me, I'm just using a light brown right here. And we're going to draw in like a kind of a wood panel in there. But uh, let me know in the comments, guys. Do What's your favorite type of baseball cards? 
Or is there like a certain series or something? So I'm just gonna make sure to go around this elbow here. I've I've always been a tops kid. Those were my favorites. I, I, my favorite set, I, the ones that really stick out, it must have been about like 1992. I was playing Little League. And, you know, we would go down there. Anybody, I grew up in Brick, New Jersey. And we would go, they had like the Little League practice out there from the um, from Brick Memorial High School there. And we'd go, and then my dad would take me and we'd get like a pack of cards from Jiffy Photo. Any of you Bricktown veterans ever hear that? There you go. Excuse me. But yeah, that's where I always got that. So then here, like a little, I'll, I'll come back to the wood grain. Let me color in my piazza right there. But those are my favorite cards. I remember those years a lot. Color those in right here. And this is cool too. You, you know, now that you know how to draw this, basically a baseball card is just that border. So once you know how to draw that border, and put a little orange right here, you can make a whole bunch of baseball cards, you know. You know, you could do all your players. Maybe a Pete Alonzo one might be kind of cool. Or Jacob DeGrom or Dom Smith. Or, I mean, you could do any player, too. You could even do one of your friends. That might be kind of cool, right? Might be like a nice, fun gift. You could just kind of draw them really quick. You could even draw them here and just write their name on the jersey. <laughs> that way everybody will know who that is. All right, cool. So now I'm going to color this in with a little orange, my, my heavenly glow there. But yeah, that's what's that's why I wanted to show you guys how to draw a baseball card so you can kind of get really creative with this. And I'm just going to quickly color in these oranges here. So if you were doing a black jersey, I believe that these I don't even know. This, the letters are um dark blue, right? There's like maybe a gray. Are they orange too? You know what? I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just going to keep talking, but I'm the only one here talking, so somebody's got to fill up the dead air, right? There we go. Look at that. So now we got that. Let's color that in blue. So I'm doing those, like, white jerseys. All whites. Reminds me of Santana. I got that blue. Pop that in there. So, like I said earlier, so we have just two more classes that we're going to be doing here. So I, real quick, I'm, I'm putting these in here, and I'm pressing kind of hard on here to get, like, a deeper blue, like a much thicker. But the reason I ask is like, what, any guys have any ideas of what kind of stuff you want to draw? Let's have a good time. Let's do something cool. I was thinking maybe we could, we could make a foam finger on one of the episodes out of construction paper or something. I'm just going to color in this background, like a light blue kind of thing. But yeah, do you know what, whatever you guys want to do. So just, you could, uh, at the end, I'll show you like all my Instagram and stuff, or you can email me or tweet me. Does that make sense? Tweet me. You can pop that on there, and then maybe give you some suggestions, and maybe we'll uh, we'll draw that. So yeah, I'm just coloring coloring this all in here and there. But feel free to take your time with your coloring on here. I'm just kind of throwing this in there really quick. And baseball is knocking at the door. It is so close. So did any of you guys get a cutout for the stands? I'm so glad they did that. I will show you guys maybe next class with my, the one I submitted. But so I figure, you know, I love to draw the baseball games. And since we can't be there physically, I basically made my, my cutout is me drawing. So it looks like my head is down a little bit. I'm standing with the pen and paper in my hands. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Let's get a little orange in. So I think that'll be fun. It'll be kind of cool to see them all laid out there. But it's going to be so surreal, right? To see them, all those uh, cardboard cutouts. I wonder if they'll do too. I heard the Yankees are doing like a, like a fan, like cheering, like sound effects. So I think that might be kind of interesting. It's, it's going to be fun. We'll all, we'll all enjoy it. We'll have something to watch and take our minds off of how crazy the world is. Excellent. Look at that. My goodness, this is amazing. Tops, hit me up. Let's make a million baseball cards together. Awesome, right? <laughs> That's really fun. So hopefully yours looks better than mine. But it doesn't matter if it look. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Sorry, I got excited. So for the wood, with the wood paneling here, what I'm going to do now is if you just draw some like darker browns in there, some lines. Almost forgot. You can like give it, make it look like a, like a wood panel a little bit. 
so you can just push down and then like on the sides you can kind of like go basically you go in with like the shape of your of your paper you just push down there there you go look at that looks just like a tree great so now that you spent all that amazing time and you drew this unbelievably awesome baseball card that you're going to cherish for years and years and years let's go ahead and let's sign it right so this way everybody knows that you drew it and you can date it and such too. So you can kind of draw wherever you want. I'm going to sign mine like right here, my fiance here. All right, little Herm. Little, my little signature there with the smiley face. And let's date it. So we said today is July 15th. And what's really cool about dating your drawing is you can look back and say, hey, this is what I did on this day. It's kind of like a fun souvenir. And it's also a really good way to see how much better you got in that drawing too, right? Because the more you draw, the better you get. That's a guarantee. So awesome. So there's your Mike Piazza drawing. Let's all see him. Hold him up to the to the camera. Look at that. Wow, it's so cool, right? Awesome. So thanks for drawing along. But let's see it. I really want to see and share your drawings there. So here's some ways that we can get in, in contact with me. So if you want to share your drawing with me, I, I would love to see them. So on Instagram, you can tag me at Herm Herman and I'll check it out there. If Twitter is more your thing, you can find me at Herm's Terms. And like I say, I'll always comment and repost your drawings. They're so fun to see. Uh, make sure to tag the seven line too, so we can share it out with the, with the big seven line army there. And we can know too, which drawings to look at for our gift card auction that we give every drawing. If you are a little shy, you're like, no, I don't wanna put it on the social medias, or maybe you don't, you don't have one. No sweat. You can email me at hermsterms.com if you wanted to show that to me. And it's, those always were fun to get your emails. You kind of check those out too. And if you wanted to see some other work that I do, that's not just uh, Mr. Met drawings or Mike Piazza's baseball cards. You can go to hermsterms.com and that's going to show you uh, my portfolio and all the work that I do and such. So awesome. Guys, it was awesome. Another wonderful class in the books. Thanks for coming through. Baseball is on the horizon. Hopefully we'll all get to keep drawing together. Two more classes together. Let's make them as awesome as they can be. Have a great day. Can't wait to see you next time and share your drawings, please. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Bye. Look at that magic trick. Flies away. <laughs>